Police are continuing their investigation into a triple homicide in Lawrence. The coroner today identified one of the victims as 38 year old Daniel Morales Uribe. WRTV's Jessica Grunling has a more on what happened and reaction from neighbors in the area. Nearly 40 gunshots within 30 seconds. Security footage shows people ducking for cover when shots rang out Sunday. It happened in a parking lot off of 42nd and Post in Indianapolis. Not surprised. That's crazy. Dominique Gibson visits this area often, stopping in at the Marathon gas station on the corner. I feel blessed that I wasn't nowhere around, to be quite frankly. I was scared. Manpreet Dajmi runs that gas station. She says she got a call from one of her employees last night that a shooting happened. This is a big disaster for, you know, for, our, for the community. It affects our business, too. So I love my customers. According to Lawrence PD, the shooting happened just before 9 o'clock Sunday night. There are three dead. One person has been identified as 38-year-old Daniel Morales Uribe. This is the second triple homicide in Lawrence this year. We reached out to Mayor Deb Whitfield, who calls public safety one of her top priorities. She sent a statement saying, I am concerned for everyone impacted by another senseless act of gun violence. I'm very grateful to our Lawrence Police Department investigators and our partners at IMPD who are working around the clock to solve this crime. And I'm confident they will bring those responsible to justice. For Manpreet, she thinks crime near her business is not as bad as it was more than a decade ago but hopes for more improvements. My sons both are teenage, like if they scared to come in, you know, if they know this, this is that kind of area. So obviously it, it affects, affects my home too, right, directly to my home. Again, it's, it's been happening for so long, especially in this area that it's normal. So, and that's a problem. In Indianapolis, Jessica Grundling, WRTV. Uh, Jess, thanks for that update. Lawrence PD has not released a motive for the shooting. They also are waiting for family members to identify the bodies of the two other victims.